The TOS Heavy Flamethrower System is a Soviet and Russian weapon system designed to take out light armored and automobile armor. Set buildings and structures on fire with a three-dimensional explosion and destroy enemy troops in open terrain and fortifications. Destruction occurs through the effects on the target of high temperature, fragments, shock waves and excess pressure created by the massive use of unguided rockets in thermobaric and smoke incendiary munitions. The heavy weight of the tube package with the projectiles required a chassis with a considerable carrying capacity and relatively short firing ranges from 400 to 600 m to 4. 500 m a certain level of protection for the whole combat vehicle. As a result, the weight of the combat vehicle reaches 46 tons. A package of 30 rails for unguided rockets is mounted in the rocking part of the launcher on a turntable. The crew performs all actions to aim the launcher at the target and to give it the necessary angle of elevation without leaving the vehicle using the sight and power tracking drives. The steep trajectory of the shells to the target required precise consideration of firing conditions and creation of a special fire control system. It includes an optical sight, laser rangefinder, roll sensor and electronic ballistic calculator. The laser rangefinder determines the distances to the target to within 10 meters this data is automatically fed into the ballistic calculator, which calculates the necessary angle of elevation of the launcher. The roll angle of the track package is recorded by an automatic sensor and also automatically taken into account by the calculator. An unguided missile consists of a warhead with a filler and incendiary or thermobaric composition, a fuse, and a solid propellant rocket motor. Andrei Frolov, editor-in-chief of the magazine Arms Exports, says, as for TOS-1 Solnsek, it has no analogs in the world. The experience of its combat use in Syria and Iraq confirmed high efficiency of such weapons. Among the disadvantages of the complex are large size, weak armor, vulnerability to ATGMs and grenade launchers. The defeat of the combat vehicle poses a danger to its troops. In addition, the complex has a very narrow scope of application. Participation in local conflicts and counter-terrorist operations and in large-scale combat operations the complex loses in range and effectiveness to MLRS.